What's up, fellas? It's G-Man from Still City RC. Um, I finally got a chance to uh, take a look at that low C5T I had out the other couple weeks ago. Man, it was running real lean and stuff. I was adjusting it and trying to get the uh, low end. Tried to uh, tried to get a little more rich. Um, it just nothing was happening with it. And then suddenly the brakes decide they're gonna lock up on me. So I really couldn't get a good tune on it. Um, also, I noticed that the gear mesh between the pinion and the um, spur were. Uh, it was too tight, man. I just didn't like it. I was using, um, I'll take a look at these real quick. I was using these, um, I think these are Jofer Spacers 19. Okay, I was using them and it just didn't, it wasn't giving me a good mesh. A friend of mine said use um, Losies. So, here's an old one I have, but I just used a regular Losey 19. Okay, that's an old one. Of course, the focus isn't working real well, but either way. So I used the low C ones in there, and it is butter. I mean, butter. I don't understand what the freaking difference is, man. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty unfamiliar with these uh, 5Ts and 5Bs, whatever, but this mesh is unbelievable. Thank you very much. He doesn't watch my channel, I don't think, but either way, that mesh is the ultimate. We're good. We're golden. Um, oh, back to the um, lean condition. Okay. I'm sitting there looking around, thinking maybe this block's got a crack in it. I can't see nothing. Now, take a closer look at this hose here. All right, I already replaced it. That's a new hose. But this is the hose that was on there right there okay there's a small hole up inside of there right there now if i get my screwdriver up in there i can actually it's just the small one just a wee little hole but that's enough to give it you know lean condition i was getting um as you can see right there you can actually see the hole but that was giving me my lean condition and i couldn't get that adjusted you know, I just couldn't, I knew something was messed up. I thought, actually, like I said before, I thought this was cracked, but, um, glad to see it isn't. I just put a new piece of fuel hose on there. Again, that's more damage from when, uh, my friend Mike rolled this. You know, he broke this carb block, and evidently it, cr it nipped that, too. And I didn't, it was, when it's on the truck, it's very hard to see. I couldn't even hardly see, you know. I'm, I got the right angle on it, and I was like, oh, whoa, look at that. And I started looking closer, and there it was. So that solved that. Um, oh, the brakes. I guess I had them too, too tight. I don't know. I got in there. I adjusted that, retightened them nuts, and uh, you know, that little nut right there. But uh, it's good to go now, man. So, I'm charging up the uh, lipo pack now. I'm going to go give it a rip in the yard and see what it does. Um, i got to get the pipe back on. I took the pipe off so I can see what the heck was going on underneath of it here. You know, because it goes right over top of the carb. Um, otherwise, I think this thing's ready to go again. I mean, I thought it was ready last time, but it just, I don't know. I couldn't get it to run right. It was really frustrating. Then the back brakes lock up. Um, but, uh, I did do a mesh mod on there. It's kind of hard to see. I, I uh, put some aluminum mesh up in there for the engine so it doesn't suck up any rocks and stuff. It's not the prettiest, but it's going to work. Um, other than that, man, I just did some typical up, you know, upgrades on it, man. You know, your typical aluminum where you think it needs them upgrades. Um, and put two high tech servos in there, Futaba radio system. I'm gonna try to update the shocks, that's my next step. Them shocks are just too weak, too he this engine's a little too heavy. Um, and I'm not trying to spend 400 bucks on shocks, I really don't want to do that. But 
So, I don't know if anybody has any opinions on shocks or what I should do there. That isn't $500. I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is just amazing to me how smooth this is now. I'm like a little kid, man. This is great. I'm actually starting to get excited about this truck now. Because I, I ain't going to lie. I was frustrated. This truck was starting to frustrate me. That mesh is beautiful. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish... I'm gonna finish this bad boy up um, and uh, if we get some good ripping videos man I'm gonna go ahead and throw them up on here um, appreciate everybody that watches my channel we do what we can we got a nice little group going here in Pittsburgh anybody from the neighboring area just hit me up on uh, PM or whatever we're all on Facebook too uh, my name is Gorley Stokes. If you ever wanted to look me up on Facebook, I'd be more than happy to be your friend on there, too. So, all right, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.